Note, if the limit of f of x over g of x where x approaches to a result to 0 over 0, then we say that the function is indeterminate. This means that if the limit of the function in the form of f of x over g of x as x approaches to a results to 0 over 0, the function is indeterminate form. Direct substitution does send, give us the limit of the function. So example this one. The limit of x squared minus 4 over x squared where x approaches to 2. If we directly substitute 2 to the function, it results to 0, 0. Other indeterminate form for the limits are the following. 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, 0 times infinity, 0 raised to 0, 1 raised to infinity, and infinity raised to 0. Take note, in evaluating limit of function that yields to indeterminate, algebraic techniques such as factoring and rationalizing may be used to find the limit of the function. Example number 25. We have the limit of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 where x approaches to 2. So if we directly substitute 2 to the x, this will become 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2. 2 squared is 4 minus 4 over 2 minus 2. That will become 0 over 0. So this is indeterminate. So the, the numerator is factorable, okay? We can factor this so that we can find the limit of this function. You, we're going to apply factoring technique and simplify, then apply direct substitution. Factor the numerator, then simplify. After simplifying the function, apply the direct substitution to evaluate the limit of Function. So this will become limit of x minus 2, x plus 2 over x minus 2 where x approaches to 2. So we factor the numerator and if we're going to simplify this, we're going to cancel this one. So the function will become limit of x plus 2 where x approaches to 2. So then... Substitute now 2 to x. So this will become 2 plus 2. The answer is 4. Next, 26. The limit of square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4, where x approaches to 4. So if we directly substitute 4 to x, this will become square root of 4 minus 2 over 4 minus 4. So this is square, square root of 4 is 2 minus 2 over 4 minus 4, that is 0 over 0, and that is indeterminate. So in this case, we're going to apply rationalizing numerator, then simplify before applying the direct substitution to evaluate the limit of the function. Okay, so how to do that? So we have the limit of square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4, where x approaches to 4, multiplied by 1, but that 1 is equivalent to square root of x plus 2 over square root of x plus 2. So we're going to rationalize the numerator. Then multiply. So we have now the limit of, so first term by first term, that is equivalent to x, Last term by last term, that is negative 4. Why negative 4? Because this is a special product. Sum and difference of two terms. Over, copy the denominator. So do not multiply the denominator. Write as factor x minus 4 and the quantity of x plus, square root of x plus 2 where x approaches to 
4. Then cancel x minus 4, x minus 4. So limit of 1 over square root of x plus 2 where x approaches to 4. Simplify this now. We can now directly substitute 4 to x. 1 over square root of 4 plus 2. 1 over square root of 4 plus 2 square root of 4 is equivalent to 2 plus 2. This is equivalent now to 1 fourth. So the limit of square root of x minus 2 where x uh, over x minus 4 where x approaches to 4 is equivalent to 1 fourth. 1 fourth. Example number 27. The limit of x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2 where x approaches to negative 2 so this will become the limit will become negative 2 cubed plus 8 over negative 2 plus 2 negative 2 cubed that is equivalent to negative 8 plus 8 over negative 2 plus 2 Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0 also. This is in the terminate. So before we substitute the value of x negative 2, let's try to factor the numerator. So this will become limit of the quantity of x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2 where x approaches to negative 2. So simplify. Cancel x plus 2. Then we have limit of x squared minus 2x plus 4 where x approaches to negative 2. Substitute negative 2 to x, that will become negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4, plus 4. And this is equivalent to 12. So the limit of x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2 where x approaches to negative 2 is equal to 12. Number 28. The limit of square root of x squared plus 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 5x plus 4 where x approaches to negative 1. So let's direct substitution. Let's do the direct substitution. So x squared will become negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 plus 4. So negative 1 squared, that is 1, minus 2 plus 1 over negative 1 squared, that is 1, minus 5 plus 4. So we have square root of 0 over 0, that is in the terminate. Okay? So what are we going to do? We can factor the numerator and denominator, then simplify. That is limit of square root of the quantity of x x plus 1 plus 1 over in the denominator x x plus 4 plus 1 so that's the factor so we can cancel x plus 1 x plus 1 so the remaining term now is the limit of square root of x plus 1 over x plus 4 where x approaches to negative 1. Then, substitute now negative 1 to x 
that is now equivalent to negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 4. So negative 1 plus 1, that is the square root of 0 over positive 3. 0 over 3, that is 0, square root of 0 is 0. So the value of the limit of square root of x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 4, where x approaches to negative 1, is equal to 0. 29. The limit of x were over square root of x plus 9 minus 3, where x approaches to 0. So 0 over square root of 0 plus 9 minus 3, that is 0 over square root of 9 minus 3. 0 over 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So what are we going to do? We're going to rationalize the denominator. The limit of x over square root of x plus 9 minus 3, where x approaches to 0, we're going to multiply it by square root of x plus 9 plus 3 over square root of x plus 9 minus 3. So multiply the denominator. So the denominator will become x plus 9 minus 9. So in the numerator, just simply write in factored form. x approaches to 0. Then simplify the denominator. So the limit of x square root of x plus 9 plus 3 over where x approaches to 0. So you can now cancel x. So the remaining term now is limit of square root of x plus 9 plus 3 where x approaches to 0. Then, substitute now 0 to x. Square root of 0 plus 9 plus 3. This is now square root of 9 plus 3. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So that is now the limit of x over square root of x plus 9 minus 3 where x approaches to 0 equal to 6.